Are any of you familiar with a book called Daniel in the uh, rabbinic tradition? Uh, in the book of Daniel, Daniel's told by Gabriel from our present and his future. Okay. That um, they won't be able to, the Messiah won't be able to talk the tribal psychotics like Pharaoh and uh, Nebuchadnezzar and, and uh, the prince, you know, the the the, the bitch that uh, Esther had to marry. Won't be able to talk them out of mass murder. But they'll talk people into accepting mass murder and not let religion save the day. And uh, that's a book called Daniel, okay? Um, the big thing that uh, makes all people that call themselves Christians make Jesus their God is the resurrection, okay? He was, rose, he was risen from the dead, okay? That's what makes them, quote, Christians. It's a miracle. He was murdered and then raised from the dead, right? In the... Uh, 21st century, um, you can beat people like that, take them off that cross, take them to Rampart, have DeSoto and Gage pick them up, and you can put him in, he'll be in a coma but stable, and then the you know, next thing you know, Reed's talking to the guy he went to uh, police academy with, right? Does that make uh, those people the son of God? The direct offspring of a, de of, a, of a deity who watches sort of from the sky and can see into our bedrooms. And you, know, you guys got to watch using the word God and saying that God's doing things for you. Okay, God's omniscient, omnipotent. God didn't stop the Holocaust. God didn't stop Middle Passage. God didn't stop Hiroshima and Nagasaki. God didn't stop COVID-19 or the sex slave trade that's in terribly hideous between this community, and Mexico, and Ciudad Juarez. Okay, do you understand? God didn't stop that. God didn't get up and make everything right. Okay? The Lord taught us how to make things right by being good people, being strong, courageous, faithful, loving people. The Lord, okay? A living word. All right? Now, religion is saving us from science right now. Right now as we speak, okay? There's a man holding a phone in a shed garage that he's re cleaning up and remodeling to get people in this town, okay, that had relatives that did heinous things to him, okay? Well, because Jesus forgave Judas and David's best friend was Jonathan. Saul's son, all right? If you hold a grudge, all right? I put all my pictures and stuff away of the kids and all that, have a few out, but I put them on because I had to stop being sad because it affected my kids, especially my Emily Grace, all right? And I had to not be angry. Couldn't let anger dictate my actions, all right? I had to do things like a father, who does things right because he loves all his children, right? Science, okay? The corporations that call themselves the religions used science to make their religion valid as they perceive it, but it's not religion, it's science. Religion is Jesus's faith. Science is not Jesus's faith. I would not use time machines, stem cell research, and cloning or freeze myself like Walt Disney to be reanimated in the, thir in, the, in the 30th century, okay? And not have any of the my grandchildren and no Patrick, no Natty, no Demi, no Danny, no uh, Brian, no, no Aaron, no, no Tori, no Mallory, okay? Do you understand? I'm not like you. I'm going to go. Let's load this one up. Just be ready, because I'm already there.